I'll tell you what happened after this pitch. The 1-0. Downstairs, 2-0. Did he just call that a strike? He did. 1-1. But uh, tell me if you've heard this before. Katie paid an RBI double. This time to win it for Ani on the bottom of the seventh. 5-4 over Winfield. The play again, I think at round six. Here's the 1-1 one, one to Rance. That's a chopper. Over to the third baseman over his head. Shortstop's got it. Weston Ball, but Rance will be on with a bum leg. That one hit over to the second baseman. It gets by him. He couldn't get over there in time. Rance will stay at second. The uh, right fielder misplayed it. And Rance will hobble over to third base. The runner's on the corners here in the top of the first. And I feel like Aniana has got to get runs in the top of the first. Do what they did in game one. Silence this crowd. Here's the 2-1 to Jackson. That one hits center field. Center fielder is going to be underneath at Eubanks. Rant will tag. He'll come up. He will score. It'll be a sacrifice fly. How Rant is playing, I don't know. But he's giving it all he's got as a senior. So it's one nothing on the sacrifice fly. That one hit into right field. Kevin coming over, makes the grab. Kevin Krim. Hopefully it's one of those days. That'll end the inning. One, two, three. They go down in order. We go to the top of the seconds. one nothing Redskins here on the Redskin Radio Network. 2-1. That one hit over the first baseman's head. Good hit from Noah Camp. So he'll be on with a one-out single. That one, a check swing. It got in to right field. <laughs> Noah around second. He'll go up to third. Some runners on the corners for Rance Phillips. Gage didn't mean to swing. We'll take the single, though. It's the same thing from last night in game two. Just chip away at the lead. Run here and run there. You don't have to have it all back in one inning. First pitch. That one hits center field. Center fielder's underneath at Eubanks. And it is gone. Brody Moore with a leadoff home run. Did not realize that it was going to be gone. It's 5-2. to two. Maybe that's a little bit of a spark that we need. That went out to center field where it's about, probably about 3.30. So Brody Moore, his second home run, and I finally get to call one for him before he leaves and goes to Auburn. That one, a chopper to go over the third baseman's head. Base hit for Will. The seniors have got to come through. They want it. I think I just got to go get it double she's got this year. Here's the 2-1 to Daniel. That one blooped in the left field. It'll drop in. It'll be a base hit. It'll get by the left fielder. Will around second. Daniel will go up to second base and Will's at third. It'll be a double for Daniel McCary. So now runners at second and third. Just chip away boys. Just chip away. First pitch right over to the right field. It'll get in. One run scores. They'll hold the runner at third. So it'll be another single for Noah, but this time it brings in a run. It's 5-3. to three. Good job for Noah. He's 2-2. Two two. Here's the 3-2 with one out. Brody, that one right field going down the line. It will be going and off the wall. Brody around first. He'll go up to second. He's got a one out double. Redskins just got to keep chipping away. That's what they did in the top of the third. They got two runs and they chipped away. He'll go after Jackson, 2-1. Jackson, a chopper over to the shortstop. It got through. Brody will come on around. He's being waved home. Jackson goes up to second. It's an RBI double for Jackson Devaney. It's now 7-4. So back-to-back doubles for the Redskins. That one. A little bit of a check swing. A slow runner over to the second baseman. He tried to scoop it, and he couldn't. So Hodge will be on. First pitch. That one he sees right in the right field. It'll get into the gap. Jake hustling around second. Noah will have to stay at first. Runners on the corners. Jay, or excuse me. Noah, he's three for three. First pitch popped up right shallow field. Right fielder is going back. He's underneath it. He pulls it down. Hodge is going to tag up. No throw. It was a throw back in, but it got away. And Noah will have to stay at first. So a sack fly brings in a run, though. So we'll trade that run for the out. So it's 7-5 to five now. They lead still by two runs here in the top of the fifth inning. Here's the 2-2. That one hit left field. That one's got some mustard on it. Going back, going back. Off the wall. Jackson around first. He'll go up to second. He'll stay there. He slides in. It's a leadoff double for Jackson Devaney. Ooh. 
That was a line drive to left field. First pitch he sees from Weston Ball. They show bunt, they lay it down. Jackson will go up to 30, misplayed it, wheels on. Back-to-back -back hits for the Redskins, puts two on. The boys are not out of this game yet, folks. The girls trailed by four runs in their game. They came back to win. The boys are trying to do the same thing. Here in the top of the sixth inning, down by two runs, and here's Daniel McCary, who was one for three, two strikeouts and a double. Here's two on. That one hit right field, a little bit of a blooper. Right fielder, he's underneath it. Jackson's gonna tag. Will goes up to third, play over at third. It got by him, Will go on home, boy. Here comes Will, it is tied. Yeah, yeah. This game is tied. 7-7 seven, seven here at the top of the six. Come on, we aren't out of it yet. Both runs score off the throw and air. Back over there. Wow, it'll be a sack fly for Daniel McCary. A sack fly brought in one run, and then both runs will come in after the error. The first error of the game by Hoax Bluff, and that's the biggest one. Here's Jake Hodge. Brody over to the third baseman. Comes over, the throw across the diamond. Comes off the bag. He's safe. It'll be an error on the throw. It will be an error on the throw. So Brody's on. E5. That'll bring up Jackson Devaney, who is two for three. Two doubles in the game and two RBIs. He's got a hole in his pants, and he's ready to hit one. Jackson Devaney, the Wallace State commit right here. Two outs down to the final out with a runner. At first, that's the tying run. First pitch. That one hit left field. That one going back. It is going back. It is gone. Oh, Jackson. That's what I'm talking about, Jackson. The freaking man just hit one. Jackson Devaney just crushed one to left field. Woo! Woo! Jackson freaking Devaney just crushed a home run to take the lead. This, this this story ain't over. Will Bearden's out to plate, up by a run. I'm sorry, if I just if I just broke your radio at home, I apologize. I need to take a deep breath. Whew. I need some Tylenol. First pitch to Will, fouled it off. Holy cow. He is the man. Come on, Will Bearden. This ain't great radio, but at this point, I don't care. Here's the 0-1 to Wheel. It's a strike, 0-2. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Welcome back in. Aniana falls in game three, 10 to 9. The winning run is Jackson threw it up to second. The guy behind, Rance. And that run came all the way around the score as they win it 10 to 9 here in extra innings in the bottom of the eighth inning. So Hoax Bluff will go on to the state championship game next week to face Andalusia. And I wish Hoax Bluff the best of luck and I hope they bring home that state title. If it wasn't going to be us, let it beat Hoax Bluff is go beat the South. Go beat South Alabama and Andalusia. So congratulations to Hoax Bluff. We wish them the best of luck for this Haniana team. Those seniors. who I've seen the last four years, give it all. Literally gave it all they had. Brody Moore, what a heck of a talent he is. Jackson Devaney, I, no words can describe Jackson. Kevin Krim, Noah Camp, Will Bearden, the, the outfielders, amazing young man. Dalton O'Brien who may be the future president of the United States one day. A.J. Elrod is another kid that I just love to death. Rance Phillips is a kid who, who got hurt yesterday, but literally gave it all he had in this game. And those seniors are going to go down in history as one of the best senior classes in Aniana baseball history. 
Jackson Devaney kept the season alive with a two-run bomb that I, be honest with you, one, I almost passed out on the call, and two, I thought it was foul, but he kept us alive in that one, but, you know, just wasn't for us. Congratulations to Hoax Bluff, and once again, those Haniana boys, nothing but respect, nothing but pride. Love each and every one of them. And I know the girls aren't listening down in Tuscaloosa. They're probably playing Cordova. I hope y'all go out there and y'all whip their butt, honestly. Get to Montgomery. I don't want the, the, this broadcasting season to end. Get to Montgomery. Go win it. Aniana Falls, 10-9, to as Hoax Bluff will go to the state championship. You've been listening to Aniana Baseball here on Classic Hits 95.3 WCRL. <laughs> 